Hey everyone, so two minutes on an apprenticeship. I get asked a lot about the requirements when it comes to an apprenticeship. So every state sets their own requirements, whether you can do your apprenticeship before or after schooling, whether it's six months or a year long. So you have to check into your own state requirements. So typically, you then have to get a sponsor. So you don't just sponsorship under a funeral home. You'll have one individual who will be kind of your overseeing person. They will be the one who signs your paperwork, make sure that you're completing what you need to complete. You will have a list of requirements. It's changed since I did my apprenticeship, what actually is required of an apprentice um, in Michigan but typically it's a certain number of embalmings that you participate in. There is not always a requirement that you have to do this many vessel raisings, this many aspirations, or, or things like that, but there is, you have to do 25 embalmings. Um, then you also have to sit in or do so many uh, arrangements with a family. You have to call so many pastors, so many cemeteries, complete so many obituaries, um, run so many funerals, do so many flower setups, casketing, dressing. So every state is a little different on their specific broke down requirements, but they want you to get a good, I guess, a, get a taste of every area that you may work in within the funeral home. There are some funeral directors that maybe turn over their file to somebody else to make all the phone calls. So they've never actually ordered their own vault or they've never called and submitted their own obituary. They have somebody else submit it after they've typed it. So they want an apprentice to at least get a good rounded view of what they might be doing within a funeral home. Some funeral directors work maybe just embalming. So the only times that they've made arrangements are during their apprenticeship. But I think once you get a good view of all the areas, it allows you to do your job in your specific capacity, whether you're compartmentalized in the prep room, in the arrangement room, running funerals, it allows you to understand what everybody else comes together to do as a piece of that puzzle. So that is an apprenticeship. I wanna give a shout out thank you to Rachel who sent me these earrings to add to my earring collection and to wear for a video. So thanks Rachel, I really appreciate them.